Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be making skillet lemony chicken. So the first thing you do is take a tablespoon of olive oil and just heat it up in a pan. Um, before that I had already taken the artichokes. You used canned artichokes and you squeeze them and dry them. So I had done that already in advance and I had them in a little container sitting on my counter. So you just kind of um, put them in the pan and saute them for, I think it's like about two minutes on each side. Um, it says one and a half to two minutes on each side. So um, that's what I'm doing here. So once you do that, you just kind of flip them. You're supposed, it does say to kind of put them, the cut sides down, but I didn't specifically do that because once I squeezed them out, they were kind of just all not like able to tell which was which. So I just kind of put them in there and then I flipped them as best as I could to kind of brown both sides. So if you're new to this channel, I host a podcast called Lola's Frugal Life Podcast, where I talk about frugal living tips and time management. And part of my podcast is a weekly um, meal plan episode on Wednesdays. So these videos um, tie into some of the meal plans that I have, um, you know, in my weekly meal plan in those weekly episodes. So once those um, artichokes are browned on each side, you just take them out of the pan and then you're just going to put them aside on a plate um, until you do the next step. So anyway, like I said, um, these recipes can be found as part of my weekly meal plan. So I'll link to my um, website, which has a link to each week's meal plan. Um, and I'll link to the weekly meal plan, which includes this specific recipe. If you do want to follow along with, with the, um, I mean, not if you want to follow along, if you want to go to the actual recipe um, to, to look at the, the link for the exact details on how to make this. And as you'll find, sometimes I skip steps or I do it kind of my own way a little bit. So that's why I kind of show you how I make it. But then I do also provide the actual recipe link, um, how the recipe is written. So then the next step is to just take some lemons that I've, again, of course, I already had pre-sliced. And you just put the lemons in the pan and you cook those. Um, let me see, how long are the lemons supposed to cook? I think the lemons cook... Um, about two minutes. So you just wanna kind of brown them up a little bit so that they soften and they kind of cook a little bit. And then you're gonna put them um, aside also. So then this is once the first side was done. So then it's you just flip them over. Um, I just use a fork to kind of flip them over quickly. I know you're not really supposed to use a fork necessarily in a nonstick pan because it could scrape it, but I try to be pretty careful and um, I just feel like it's more difficult to use. Maybe if you had like little, like little small tongs or something you could use to flip them over. But I just do it carefully with a fork and just kind of flip each piece over to get the other side browned. And then, like I said, once these lemons are done, you're just gonna kind of take them out and put them on a plate with the artichokes um, and you set them aside because then next we're gonna be adding the chicken into the pan. So as I'm taking the um, lemons out, I'll just note, like I said, the, the recipes are not, I don't always make them exactly as written. I mostly make it as written, but I do skip a couple of ingredients or steps here and there, either just because I don't prefer to have those or maybe I don't have them on hand. Um, I try to make things kind of a little bit more simplified. So if you're looking at the recipe and you're watching this video and saying they don't match up, they might not match up exactly, but obviously you can make it either way. So once you have the artichokes and the lemon cooked and put aside on a separate plate, you're going to add the um, chicken. This is chicken thighs with the bone in and they do have skin. So you put them in the pan um, with the hot oil with the skin side down. And then you're just going to let them cook for um, about five to seven minutes. You really want to try not to move them because you really want them to brown. And if you move them around too much, it can kind of, um, you'll lose a little bit of that, like um, the kind of uh, crispiness that it'll get on the bottom. So I do, I think I did kind of, I did kind of rearrange them like, oh, no, never, no, I didn't. Okay. That was just me flipping them. I thought I was starting to rearrange them, but it does say to just kind of leave them. So once they've gone five to seven minutes and you just want to flip them over and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're not like fully cooking them. 
um, because this is going to wind up going in the oven, but um, you just kind of, you know, want to do like five to seven minutes on each side just to get them really browned on both sides of the chicken. So then once that's done, again, you're just going to put those on a separate plate and then just kind of put those aside. Then after this step, you're going to take the um, what's left there and you're going to actually, I think this part, oh no, never mind. I was going to say you rinse it out, but you don't rinse it out at this point. Um, this is adding um, white wine and chicken broth. And then you're making kind of like a little bit of a sauce that the chicken's going to wind up going back into. So you just cook this for about um, a couple of minutes just till it kind of thickens up a little bit. In this spot, the actual recipe does say to add shallot um, to this and mix it in and garlic. But like I said, I, that's one of the pieces that I skipped. So I just went right to adding the wine and the um, chicken broth. And then you just kind of cook that up about one to two minutes. Like I said, until it starts to kind of some of the liquid starts evaporating a little bit. And then you have to add um, some salt. It does also call for thyme, um, but I didn't add that. I just added some salt. And then you want to simmer it about three to five minutes until um, it's kind of reduced by about half. So this is just me kind of stirring it and simmering it. Um, and then once that's done, now we start adding the chicken back in. So one thing I can say is um, when th this is going to wind up going into the oven, when you take the pan out of the oven, be very careful. Um, I know it seems obvious that a pan just came out of the oven, you don't want to touch it, but I accidentally grabbed it, the handle, because I'm not used to necessarily putting skillets in the oven and then taking them back out, so I wasn't thinking that it had just been in the oven, and I grabbed the handle afterwards to move it. So just be mindful that it is going in the oven and it's gonna get really hot. So in this step now, you're taking the lemons and just kind of putting them in any little open spaces that you have um, around the chicken. And then you're going to do the same thing with the artichoke. So you just kind of want to tuck them in there. They're mostly just kind of going in there to give it flavor. Um, so you just kind of stick them in wherever you have space. This is probably like maybe the second time I think I've made this recipe. And um, in my mind, I always feel like it's going to be a little difficult, but it's really so easy and it, it tastes really good and the chicken comes out really tender and juicy. So it really is a good meal to um, to kind of make that's pretty, pretty simple. Um, it doesn't have that many ingredients. And then we served it with um, like a instant pot um, rice and vegetables with cheese. So it kind of went good with that. It goes good with like a rice or you could probably even maybe do a pasta on the side. So once you have that all together like that, you're going to put this in the oven. Um, the oven was preheating prior to me starting this to 425. And then you just cook it in the oven about like 10 to 12 minutes. So that was me putting it in the oven. That was me taking it back out. And that's it. That's the um, completed recipe. So you could serve it whatever side you like. Like I said, I'll leave the link to this weekly meal plan.